like oak trees you got over there? Derailed trains? <laughs> the storm derailed trains. Just missed it. I mean, you can see the debris right here, dude. This is the camera right here. The yeah. wind hit this shit hard and just yeah. kind of shredded right up. And there was one in front of the silo. I love the smell of pine in the morning. About the size of a um, telephone. Not quite as big as a telephone pole, but it was pretty big. It dropped. It like a little bigger than a baseball bat. Look at that camper. It's flipped over. Wow. God, I still want to get underneath that tree. What? I still want to get underneath that tree for too long. Let me just give you the key. Now we'll open this. So there's my house with the trampoline leaning up against it. There's a tree there that we had to cut down. We had a fell uh, tree here. I had to clear. Um, my neighbor three houses down is a mer uh, cop, so he helped. So yeah. Gonna get all this sorted out and then uh gonna help my friends. Yeah. It's pretty bad. But we all survived. Still have no power. <laughs> I got a tree in the backyard down that's massive. But everything looks like it'll be alright. I don't even know where those limbs came from. <laughs> so that tree way over there, the tornado took its limbs. There's one on my front porch, and then there's one in the backyard. Missed my roof, thank God. It's just crazy. Yeah, there's the limb. I gotta clean up this. My yard was not like this. There was no baby diapers in the yard. It was all the tornado, I swear. Also, my trampoline was moved. So yeah, I survived a tornado. Gotta hope this battery has a charge on it. I need batteries. My Amazon boxes are everywhere. So I don't know if you can see it, but those are trees snapped. About in half. Right by the highway, that's why the power lines went out from the highway. Uh, and they closed off the So I cleared this tree last night at, well I say cleared, I just cut it half big enough for people to pass. At 12. <laughs> and so beyond this point is my little house my project house and I had to check it because I do keep dogs there uh, that tree wasn't, I didn't even clear that one I just ran over oh my goodness oh there's one of those buoys those ball buoys for uh, power lines that uh, show you where, where planes can't get close to the power lines this old guy across the street had these really nice gourd feeders and apparently they blew from over there <coughs> hope he's okay he's a nice older gentleman and then uh yeah oh the pecan orchard no oh i used to pick pecans there wow it's just unpassable tree snapped off yeah it came through here we had a touchdown ef2 or something like that i hope the main house is okay oh no the pecan trees uh that's sad. Oh, a lot of them are messed up. Oh my God, the roof's peeled off that house. A lot of snap trees. Oh, the shack fell down on one side of it. This, oh, this old house has been standing barely for years. <sighs> More trees down. Our brave power workers, God bless them. Good people, you know. All right, so this is how we got the buck stove running. We got this little battery thing, Ryobi, and it's doing the fan. And this is an insert, and so otherwise most of the heat would go up the chimney. And it works pretty good. Still don't got power right now. And so, uh, yeah. Okay, well, we heard a pop, and the Ryobi thing doesn't burn up. So, yeah. What do you think, Mr. Beagle? It's like, it's cold in here, Daddy. I opened the doors. My off-brand mustard's sitting there. We got it going on. Tornado. Two days out. This is some of the houses you see. Trees on them. Through them. Just destroyed. So this is the kind of thing you see. Uh, I didn't clear this one. But God, this is tight. 
just enough to get a truck through. Uh, that's all Noah's Ark property. Uh, them battled uh, Noah's Ark, you know, they embezzled a lot of money. Oh, God, don't not. Oh, oh! Yeah. I don't have a good back, and these roads are terrible. Can I fit through this? Come on, guys. When I was chainsawing them up, I did a lot bigger. Come on. Ah. Uh. Day three since the tornado, uh, I went out and got this at Norvin Tool. It's like a Honda clone, and it seems to be running pretty good in uh, 1800 watts, 2300 peak. Um, yeah, continuous 1800 watts. That should be able to do our fridge, TV, maybe a hot plate if we unplug the fridge and don't want to overload it. And I got, I went ahead and bought a, a good extension cord for it, got the oil in it and all that. And uh, yeah, they say it's going to be about, it could be as long as a week at this point. So we're running an extension cord up through the window. Cody's over there taping it. Yeah. That'll be good. It'll be safe. Look at that camper. It's flipped over. Wow. That's how bad this storm is. Lots of flipped over crap. That poor Mercedes. No, that's a Toyota. Toyota, honey. It's not much of a loss. No, that's terrible. That's a big old white oak. Where's the National Guard? I guess Biden sent them to Ukraine. Working. Volunteers working together. I saw a food bank cooking food, burning it so they can feed the people. No power, so no refrigeration. It's terrible. But the people coming together to feed each other, take care of themselves is a beautiful thing. No fatalities because a tree fell on a car with a five year old boy in it. That was a different county. But, but yeah. that was in a different county. But in Spalding County, this tornado did not kill anybody. Thank God. Is that Kennedy Road? No. My God, look at this, hon. This used to be a really pretty orchard right here, Mom. Yeah. Remember? Remember? What you gonna play with now? Oh, put it down the slide. Yeah. Yeah. Pull the crank. No, it doesn't slide. Uh -oh. yeah. Good job. If it don't work, make it do it. So our power was out for about uh, almost three days. And this little generator is a lifesaver. It's like $4.99 at um, um, Northern Tool to Power Horse. It's basically a Honda clone. And uh, has a 30 amp plug. But it's, it's not 240, it's just uh, 110. And um, yeah, I mean, it works great. I used it. Uh, they have a kit where you can link two together. And also they have a kit where you can have one that siphons out of a gas tank. But to be honest with you, 20 hours on two gallons. I think the gallon, the tank is about a gallon or a little under. And it goes about 10 hours. It's, it's rated to do uh, eight hours, but it, it was really good. Powered the whole house. And uh yeah, I even bought a bunch of gas when I didn't even need it. But this thing's really cool. I'm going to see if I can build a rack for it eventually and mount it underneath my flatbed. I think it'll fit. All right, I got low oil pressure, but I'm going to go see if I can help some people. I got my saws, and uh, I got my bobcat behind me. Boom. We're going to go use the grapple, and we're going to pull some trees off some houses and probably out of the roadway real quick. None of my lights work on my trailer for some reason or my brakes, but this is dually, so I'm fine. So I'm going to go do that and uh, hopefully um, help, you know. And in this situation, it's important to document everything for uh, insurance purposes. So before I pull off a tree, I tell the people, like, take pictures. I'm sure they have because some insurance places will refuse to file a claim. It's kind of slimy. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to go do it. Hopefully this old machine will not let me down. But uh, i got to do a service on it. I haven't changed the oil in like 500 hours like that idiot i got the kit and got the oil at the time gotta fill up yep. 
I love the smell of pine in the morning. Get it done. Get it done. You want me to push that tree down? Is that tree dead? You don't want this tree, do you? That little tree? Yeah. You want me to just push it in the pile? Yeah, yeah fuck it. <laughs> First load right here. Pretty good. Help some people out. Got some wood I can mill. It's gonna be pretty good. Got my buddy over here. I'm gonna let him run the bobcat. Please don't get stuck. <laughs> He's pretty good for a first timer. Yeah, these will mill out nice. There's a little guy down here getting firewood. You gotta do what you gotta do. And now's the perfect time for it, you know? <coughs> we got his little saws and he's just cutting that hickory. <coughs> I had no idea the uh, uh, Pike um, Scott's Miracle Grove building was destroyed in we got uh, Jenkinsburg. Wow, there's metal everywhere. No one even reported that. That's terrible. There's metal across the street, insulation. They're just picking up all that trash. That is terrible. Metal all twisted up in them trees. The trucks are laying beside, I didn't know that. Wow. Derailed trains? <laughs> the storm derailed trains. <sighs> all right, so I end this video with this is the extent of my roof damage, which I got out lucky. Okay, there too. Just saw that. Yeah, I think that will probably be okay for right now. Um, it's not on a seam. So, and it did bubble up this seam right here. Yeah. I could, not, I could probably just put a little bit of silicone in that. It'd be good. A lot of people, like over there, my neighbor had a hole in the roof. They fixed it fast. So, yeah, I'm happy with, yeah. So, I did some work yesterday. Got some logs off a lady's house and uh, cut down a leaning oak for a person, which it almost went wrong. Is this a license plate up here? Who put this up here? That is not mine. Huh. I used to rent this house out, so it's probably that. But yeah, still got a massive oak over there down. That tree right there scares me because it's rotten at the base. Kind of feel like dropping it. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Ah!